another day, another morning, or late morning. And sitting on the fence we have one of our resident magpies just dropped in. And my friend Kugelov, our pheasant Kugel. And he'll just end up, he'll not end up, he'll just sit there and wait till he's noticed or if he feels like it and he's hungry he'll let out with his woo, 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 woo sound. And over here is Piper. So I shall attempt to feed these little guys. Okay. Give this to Magpie. Magpie is taken care of. What? He's feeling a bit hassled. He's taking off. Got Karawongs up here who are going to dive bomb if they get the chance. Yeah. So Maggie's going to take. Maggie's going to take her food. Oh, she's flown off. These Karawongs are a nuisance. Meanwhile, Piper's sitting here quite... Sorry, it's a bit disjointed today. We had three adult pied butcher birds here earlier. Well, two would have been adults and one would have been a fully developed juvenile. And Pipe, as you can see, the colours, his collar is slowly developing into a full black collar. His whiskers are nicely pronounced now. Don't know if you can see those. If you look at his whiskers. I can hear another butcher bird, a pied butcher bird. And the other thing it might be is the colour ones, they imitate the noises. Hoping that you'll throw food out thinking it's a butcher bird or a pied butcher bird. It's definitely two carawongs I can hear making noises. And there's one of them. few years ago there was a time when we could have had 20, 30 or 40 Karawongs coming at once and it was totally out of control. Meanwhile back here Piper, okay off you go, come on. Good, he's gonna get chased. Okay, 